Hey everybody, uh, Rob Booker here, and we don't talk enough about how much I lose. Um, well, we probably talk a fair amount about that. I've been long the Cad Swiss since February 11th, and I'm down $22,000. So, I want to talk today, someone asked me on Twitter, a friend of mine actually said, Hey, is that a big friggin' deal, or how do you feel about that? How do you feel about being in a big, fat, losing, gigantic losing trade? And um, I don't actually feel that bad about it. Um, it's not like I feel stupendous about it. But listen, it's one of those trades that I'm fairly one zillion percent confident is going to come back. Lots of missed pivots above where we are. Uh, love a target all the way up at 8,600. As you can see here, the trend has been down uh, for pretty much ever and ever. And we're eventually going to get a pop upward here and uh, a nice move to the 8200 area, 8300 area, and so forth. So I'm going to stick with that trade for a while, everybody. And if you jump on your old TFL website, if you're not a member, you should definitely be a member here. We are going to take this trade together and we're in a number of these positions and we will continue to be in these positions. I kept my losing trade open. I don't recommend that most of you do that. But in this instance, I am riding out that losing trade, and, and I want everybody to see that uh, not everything that I do is all roses and rainbows up your bum all the time. So sometimes i got to ride out a bad trade, and that's just kind of the way it goes. Now, I'm also riding out a winner here on the Australian dollar, U.S. dollar, and the other side of the coin is if I'm going to ride out a loser, i got to ride out the winner, right? And I have a target of 8,200 here on the Australian dollar, and we are very close on this trade. We are only 35 pips away from the target on this, and I'm up significant amount of money, far more than I'm losing on the CAD Swiss right now. And it's times like this that I gotta go to the movies or I gotta like do something else completely so that I don't fudge with the trade. Because like I said, if I'm gonna ride out a losing trade, then I need to be willing to ride out the winning trade also. I need to be able and willing to last it out and hold on to the winning trades all the way to their profit targets. And I just want you to know I'm not really dying a thousand deaths or anything, but I would very much like to just close these trades and I'd like to do it right now so that you can see me making a bunch of money because that would make me look great and all that kind of stuff. But the fact of the matter is I'm not going to touch it I'm not going to screw with this trade here. I'm going to leave these open until they hit the profit target or turn around and go back to break even or whatever because that was the plan and I need to follow through on that plan. So that's just a brief and quick trading update uh, about what's going on. If you're not a member of TFL, you can jump on tfl365.com slash plans and um, you can still get in on the annual discount. You can pay ahead of time. And one thing that's not listed here is the new pivot scan that comes with TFL. And if you want to trade the trifecta system together with me, um, this new pivot scan is ridiculous. What this pivot scan will do is it will show you all of the financial instruments that have recently missed their weekly, monthly, and daily pivot. So I can go back to last week and stretch out the calendar here and I can look at all the financial instruments from the NASDAQ to the New York Stock Exchange to the Amex to Forex and whatever else and I can see everything that's missing its weekly pivots and um, you can just see that there are hundreds and hundreds of trifecta trades that you can take every day and every week and every month. There's even a little thing here from the bonus section of the trifecta course where you can see which financial instruments have missed three daily pivots in a row. And those are, of course, quite uncommon, but you could still look those up. So anyway, happy trading, everybody, if you're in these trades together with me. Stay strong on that Australian dollar trade. Hopefully, we'll get out of that trade today with a big profit. And CAD Swiss entries are coming up very soon. And uh, we'll see you later.